Gary Lineker has come under... It's always a great moment when you come into work and Lineker is on the radar. He's come under fire for signing an open letter criticising the government's reworked policy. The Defence Secretary, Grant Shapps, criticised the presenter, telling him to stick to TV. But the BBC has defended its Match of the Day star, saying he's not broken any of its impartiality rules because he did it in an open letter rather than on social media. Joining us now to discuss this former BBC producer, John Mayer, is with us. Always good to gauge your view on these things, John. Uh, I mean, that's an interesting response from the BBC. Well, it was in an open letter, so therefore it's very different to doing it on social media. It's not really different, is it? He's broken the rules. <laughs> Ian, Ian, thank you for having me, as they say in America. Um, look, uh, this was an open letter to a charity. Why, why haven't you got Lord Dannett in, 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 the, in the box on this one? He signed the letter, so did Brian Cox. You know, what, what's wrong with Lineker signing an open letter to a charity about refugees? Yeah, what well, isn't the issue, as was established by the BBC, when they had to suspend him for breaching impartiality while they had a look at the, at the status of his contract? I mean, the BBC has essentially said, look, there is a line here. You can't cross that line. If you do cross that line, there'll be repercussions. But they've suddenly rode back and said, oh, actually, the open letter doesn't cover it. It's just social well, media. But it's the same thing, yes. isn't it? They're, they're, they're right here. Look, I've got here the BBC's guidelines on, on social media. I've read them carefully, all six pages of them, and I can't see that he's broken any of those guidelines. You know, he he, he also criticised VAR on Saturday night. Why, why do you... Well, him he's, for he's, that? he's paid to criticise VAR, isn't he? Ah, that is literally his he, job. He, he's not is, paid he, to he's opine also, on issues surrounding government policy, John. You know that much. He, he, he's a human being. You know, he has he has opinions. He doesn't present and use the current... OK, so sh should Fiona Bruce have been allowed to sign the open letter? No, Fiona Bruce works in News and Current Affairs. Okay. Gary does so not. That, that's I've not seen Gary presenting. And that was What's established. That? The BBC did... That they did say there is a difference between current affairs and work in his they sport, did, but they, they did. All, but they also in said this, that there's still a line, right? They, they, they said there is a difference. People in News and Current Affairs and documentaries should not opine. Those in other programmes, and they have some flagship programmes, can opine... Here, here, here are the guidelines. Look, Gary Lineker, yeah, the but they didn't comedies. say they could opine on everything, right? There was a line. No, he's, he's, a, he's, a, bright, he's a bright man. What, what, do, you, do you want to shut him up? Do you want to say yes, Gary Lineker? Yes, I, I really do. Yes, I mean, that would be... A, 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 oh. not, not because he you know, used to play for a couple of iffy football clubs, not that, but I'd like to, to establish once and for all, then, if he's allowed to say this, if he's allowed I think to he is, then, I mean... and, and, and sign letters and say what he likes on social media... And ordinarily, I, I would take your view, John, and you're right, you know, Fiona Bruce or any of the others, slightly different area. However, he does still massively represent the BBC. He's a face of the BBC. And this is, this it's, is, not, this is it's not, not a political... It's not an issue that is without a problem for the BBC. No, if this is not part of a little... It's a Christmas charity for refugees. You know, he, he's... He, 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 he's doing what any decent human being and supporting it. You know, Lord Dannett, you know, the former head of the British Army signed it. So did Brian Cox and lots of other people. Why don't you pillory them? Well, they're not working with the BBC. I mean, the point is the BBC connection, John, right? Which is why we're speaking to you. I, I, I understand that. He's a football commentator. He's paid rather a lot of money. I, I agree. But, you Good know... Luck to he, well, you know, no, no, he, he's a human being. He has opinions, you know. When he comes to present the 10 o'clock news or question time, th then he can't say what he wants to say. But whilst he's still doing football, he can criticise VAR, he can criticise government policy on, on Rwanda, he, as long as he doesn't say vote Labour. I, look, I, look, you're a BBC man. Through, you're even wearing Doctor Who's scarf, John, so, you know, I, 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 understand, <laughs> I understand your loyalty. However, you know, is the, do you think, in which case, the BBC have got their policy right, as it is at the moment, or do they need to look at it? Because for some people, even though he is a football pundit, he presents Match of the Day, he's a you know, very talented really? man, all, the, all of that. Do, do you think there's never a line, then, where anyone outside of news and current affairs could cross? Is anything fair I, game? I don't know, Ian, but I, I, mean, I know that I've read this six-page document about uh, social media policy, and it seems eminently sensible to me. You know, I think the BBC are wrong to suspend him way back in March. You know, that, that was a silly move by by by, by Tim Davey. No, 
He's a human being. He has views. He happens to be a football commentator. He happens to be on the BBC. But the, he signed a letter for a charity. I've, this is the third time I've said it. This is a letter for a Christmas no, charity. No, I, I, yeah, refugees. it's not hard to understand, John. I mean, it, I do get the concept. However, I but, just that there is a point where if you are so much the face of the BBC, that then that whether you like it or not, there is a reality, a, perhaps even a perception that becomes a reality. That you are the BBC, you you epitomise the BBC. He's a, he's a, he's the football face of the BBC. Stop stop giving him undue importance. You know, he, he he presents a popular football program on a Saturday night. Presents it very very well, by the way. And you know he he, he is the football face of the BBC. He is not the news and current affairs face. He's a human being as well. You know you you guys use things like Lineker to bash the BBC. Leave them alone. You know, they do no, not I don't want to bash I'd like to just establish where we're at because it seemed to me, and I, I could have this wrong, John, I understand what you're saying about the six-page guidelines. Not a lot of guidelines, really, but six pages nonetheless, more mm. than we had before. Uh, I, I'm kind of interested as to why, bearing in mind they said, the BBC said, there is a line that even as a sports person, you can't cross, yes. and there is a yeah. reasonable supposition that this open letter crossed it somewhat. Has, has he tweeted about Rwanda? Has he tweeted and he said... No, with, with, well, bonkers? this, is where, no, this is where the guidelines are perhaps still a little shady, need clearing up, because yeah, they mentioned yeah, social media, they didn't mention anything else. No, it didn't. It could be. But, you know, he, he signed a letter to a charity which is raising money for refugees, him and the former head of the British Army and Brian Cox and other people. No, Lineker's an intelligent human being. Give him freedom of speech. OK. Well, we'll speak again when Anton Dubek comes out in favour of Kim Jong-un and we'll see what happens <laughs> then, Chuck. Uh, well, uh, I'm not, not, not sure which one I feel more sorry for in that case. <laughs>